This video explains how to change the IP address of the AlphaPix Evolution controller from one static IP address to another. <clears throat> First thing is, is it's in its built-in default mode where it's giving you all the statuses. We're going to go ahead and just briefly press the M as in Mary button on the left, and it's going to bring us to system setup. We say select the center button. It's currently a DHCP no, which is what we want. We do not want a DHCP or dynamic host configuration protocol. That means if we had this yes, it would be obtaining an IP address from a server on your network and not a static IP address. A static IP address is one that is unchanging and that the controller is specifically been told to use, not one from the network. So that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit select. That brings us to the static IP address screen. We have four octets of this IP address, 192, 168, 10, and 244. You can separate, you can see they're separated by dots. We change each of those four octets separately. So what we can do is either hit the plus sign, you can see it going up, 197, down, 192, and we have to change each one. So what we're gonna do is once we have that right, we're gonna click the okay button. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're gonna change this to 245 instead of 255. I'm gonna hit the plus sign, and then I'm going to go ahead and click okay. Now, we can go ahead and move on to the next section, which is subnet mask. I'm going to hit the S. That brings us to subnet mask. In this particular case, this is valid for that IP address. If you're never sure if a subnet mask is right or not, Google subnet mask calculator on the internet, and you can then determine if your subnet mask is valid for your IP address. So for 192.168.1, for example, or zero in this case, 255, 255, 255 is uh, correct. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit select. And that brings us back. We can now configure per pixel protocol or whatever. We don't need to do all that. We're done. We do want it to go ahead and save our settings. We're going to hit the M button. It says configured, rebooting now. And it's booting up. And you can see now it has the new IP address of 245. So again, we'll just go back, select uh, the M button, hit the center, S. And that's right. We're then going to go OK, OK, OK. We're going to bring it back to our original 244. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and select. That's fine. Select and M. It's going to reboot again. And you can see that we're going to be back to our new or old IP address of 244. And that's how easy it is to go ahead and set a static IP address.